got a new tool for parents who have misbehaving kids. Public shaming with a haircut. Um, there's a new barbershop, well not a new barbershop, an old barbershop in Atlanta called A1 Cuts. And the barber there is helping families discipline their kids by giving them an old man haircut. So if they have problems with their children, they're putting them into this barbershop. Let's see some pictures of what these uh, haircuts look like. They're essentially saying that if you embarrass your kid with giving him what I think is actually a quite adorable little old man balding haircut, <laughs> <laughs> that this is going to help to discipline your child because um, it doesn't hurt him. All it does is it puts him up for humiliation uh, in front of his peers. Yeah, I don't see how that could ever backfire. I think that's a good form of parent. I think they, they would teach you in parenting class, you know, humiliation is a great tool. That's what? Are you fucking <laughs> out of your mind? That is, um, how does that help? That's a kid. He doesn't know how to process. All he knows is he's being humiliated and shamed and about his physicality, which is a bad thing to do to a kid. That's not, can you think of a, I don't know, you're a, I'm not a parent. Yeah. No, you're a parent. You're going to hate me because I did exactly this to my did son. You really? I did. I'm, this is no joke. How old is he? Um, he's 18 now, but I okay. did to him when he was 12. Wow. And the reason I did it to him is because he, his little brother needed some help, my other son, and he was choosing his friends in a party over helping his little brother. Uh -huh. And he was in the mirror, and he's primping, and he's doing all these things, and there was this vanity that I saw shining through that was overtaking his mind and saying that I'm not going to support my family, I'm not going to be there. And so I said, before you go out, let me give you an edge up, whereas, you know, you sort of taper the sides Ooh. and he said sure great it's gonna look even better for the party and I chopped it all off and went straight down the middle with the clippers and he did not want to go to the party and as I chopped it off I said you can still go to the party but I want you to understand that the vanity being in the mirror and not taking the time to support your family to focus on what's right is never going to be allowed in my household and literally I've never ever ever had an issue with him ever picking vanity or this self-aggrandizement self -aggr yes yeah. okay. over his family not once since then so it then. worked well that's i would never do this to a little girl which oh, you yeah, know that would yeah be a, that would that you know be, yeah dangerous but that's an interesting thought i hadn't even thought about yeah, that you know I, I, if you if you do it to a little girl you know that's a completely different thing yeah. cutting off all of her hair for example or giving her an old man haircut yeah, that would be bad. Why would that be worse? I know. Why would that be worse? But to me, I can. I my first reaction, my visceral reaction to that is, wow, that's that's almost that goes beyond shaming and humiliation. That almost goes into abuse. So, yeah, you know, I, maybe for that, for me. Oh, really? So if it's a girl, thing. it's abuse, but boys. I know. That's well, part I of that is that, that, that this is completely sexist. contradictory and sexist of me. But that's my first <laughs> well, reaction. Well, part of that so is, as we know, there. with guys, first of all, low haircuts for us are more in style. So if that's you true. actually cut off our hair, a girl will come to you and say, wow, he has a sexy butt buzz cut or something. And with women, that's not always an acceptable hairstyle in society. I like it, but a lot of employers, a lot of schools, they judge women on that. And I think there's other ways that you could discipline a woman without cutting off her hair in that manner. But a but guy, our hair will grow back. And so, I, you know, okay, well, I, I just, did it. I know. I might be the worst parent right now, no, but I, I, you know, see, it I worked. Know. I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> You know, you know, it's torture works, but um, but this is not torture. So chemical not torture. This is not even. But, this is this is an alternative to spanking their kids. But if you did it to a girl, kids. it is. Well, see, that's that's an interesting. I, like there's, I said, so there's I no other alternative. You have to publicly humiliate your kid or beat them. Those well, no, then, no, options? they're saying that that's not what they're saying no. here. Now, no. the barber, he is saying, uh, let's see, the, his name is Russell Frederick, and he said, parents are at a loss. When you go to discipline kids these days, they can't necessarily use physical punishment the way parents did in the past. Obviously, I think that's a good thing. Yes. Yeah, um, but they have to do something. If you don't and your kid ends up doing something crazy, everyone is going to say the problem started at home. Now, not that we care about what I they say about the parents, but we do have... We do have, you know, evidence of, like, white kids that go out and, and do insane things like that kid that was drunk driving last year that killed four people and mm -hmm. got off with the affluent defense. Yeah. You know, it, it, I would much rather those parents had given their son, that kid, an old oh. man haircut and maybe stopped him from doing those kinds yeah. of things before he went out and killed four people. Again, so the silver bullet would be public humiliation of a, of a, of a, what, a teenager? Well, I don't know. I but guess, not a girl. Yeah. But not girls. Well, Just I mean, only you have boys. To do something different, I guess. I think for different for so. girls. I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, there's, a, there's a different thing about you know. Can there be more holes in your idea of how to? I, like I said, I haven't thought this through. It had not even occurred to me. I'm, and I'm telling you, I, as if I had not had tried this myself, because I do not support you know hitting kids. That's right. something that I do not. Why? But also, 
I, I don't want to abuse my child. I don't want to physically put my hand on them and make them think that's a form of... So that's so that that's okay. You don't want to say that it's okay to hit someone To hit else. someone, yeah. But it's okay to publicly humiliate someone. Well, see, he, he made the choice not to go to the party. Now, these kids are still going to school and doing things. No, let me ask you, why didn't you just say you can't go to the party because I didn't like the way you were too into yourself. Now you have to stay home and you can't go to the party. Because with disciplining children, what children are going to hear, and we were all kids at one point, and you hear mom and dad are unreasonable. They're not getting the deeper message. Or at least for my kids, I'm not going to generalize with everyone. When I say that to them, they're like, you're just unreasonable. You don't get that, I, you know, it, it's his problem. It's not my issue. It's all about me. And that's what I was trying to avoid, of him growing into that type of an adult male that was so self-consumed. And it worked. It literally worked. I'm telling you, he's 18 years old right now. And before he leaves the house, he checks with his sibling and says, hey, is there anything you need? Are you there? And his sibling, who mocks or follows him now, does the same thing. And so his sibling has never had to have his yeah. hair shaved because well, it worked. You guys have both given me a lot to think about yeah. on this. It's a very interesting story. I just want to my, show that they're, oh, go ahead. My dad used to cut our hair when we were kids. And it was horrible. Really? It was horrible, right? So we were poor, mm -hmm. and I had uh, six brothers, and my dad would every, you know, every I don't know two months, he would or whatever it was, we'd have to all sit in the basement. And my dad's gonna cut all of our hair, so we'd all go to school the next day with fucking goofy haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> all of us walking I with see our you stupid. Have a history <laughs> about yeah, this, so maybe there's, yeah. there's, there's so more to there's it. some trauma there. But he didn't yeah. do it as a punishment. He just did it. No, it could it, no, didn't do it as a dip. But what could have been? It was still humiliating. I hated it. I couldn't believe it. It's like. Can I take back bottles or newspapers, save some money to go to a fucking barber? I gotta look like this? This is horrible. And we well, all looked like it. So it was like your whole family was shamed. It was yeah. unbelievable. Can okay. we just tell people you're a fucking adult child of an alcoholic? <laughs> Can't we just do that? Why do we have to? Uh, I hated it. It was horrible. So that's why I have well, a very, I see it. You have a very visible But there was reaction. a conversation with me, my child. There was, I mean, literally after I did it, we sat down for about an hour. We sat down the next day and I explained why this was happening. And so I'm hoping if parents are going to this extreme to try something new, that you're sitting down and having a conversation with your kid. Communication, because if they don't, they're gonna just say, damn, dad just screwed me up again and all he wants to do is humiliate me. If I, if I was your kid and I was uh, uh, thinking the way I think now as a grown up, as a kid I was too afraid to do this, but I would shave your eyebrow off when you're sleeping. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, say, another, now you got it. Now you know wait, how it feels, Dad. I, I just want you to know how it feels. 